All right, this is a strength of materials problem. And here we have a 0.12 millimeter diameter steel rod that is uh, fitted to a round hole in this wooden member. And uh, it, we also have a loading on it, as it shows right here. And they want us to find the maximum average normal stress in the wood. They also want us to find the distance B, right here, for which the average shearing stress is 620 kilopascals on the surface that's being indicated, right here. And in part C, they want us to find the average bearing stress on the wood. To get started, we're gonna get to work on the axial stress or the average normal stress in the wood. And this is the formula that we're gonna use for it. We have the force, we have it given, and we have to calculate the area though for which this stress will apply. And that will be the area where this member is the thinnest. So that would be 75 millimeters minus the diameter of the steel right here. So this here would be the thinnest part of the wood and that's where we're going to calculate our stress. Another thing I want to point out before we get started is that uh, I think there's a typo in the book and it says that the diameter of the steel rod it says it's 0.12 millimeters. I think what they mean is 0.12 meters. So I'm going to mark it over here that the diameter equals 0.12 meters. So let's get to calculating our area that is of interest for our formula. And that would be A equals 75 minus the diameter of the steel rod, which will give us the length of the area that uh, the wood steel has here where the steel rod goes through it. So this would be 18 millimeters times 75 minus the diameter that we just said it's 12 millimeters okay so this will give us a total value of 1134 millimeters square or we can uh, go ahead and round it or I mean convert it to meters and that would be 1.134 times 10 to the negative third and meters square because our forces are in newtons so we will need this in meters now let's get back to our stress formula plug in everything that we know and we can find our stress normal stress in the wood so our force is 4.5 kilonewtons. So I'm gonna turn it into newtons divided by the area, which we found right here, 1.134, 10 to negative three meters square. And with a calculator, we can go ahead and find our value of 3.97, 10 to the six pascals. Alright, the trick in this part was that we need to realize that the cross-sectional area that we're going to be working with is not the whole cross-section of the wood, but it's the cross-section where the steel rod goes through it and therefore takes some of this material out. So the stress will be most uh, likely to cause it to fail here, where it's the thinnest. Okay, let's go to part B where they want us to find shearing stress. Well, actually, no, I said it wrong. They want us to find B in such a way that the shearing stress which is given will not be exceeded, which is 620 kilo pascals. So we are interested in this B, this length. How far away from the edge this rod needs to be in order for us to have a shearing stress of no more than this in the area that they highlighted for us right here okay so 
shearing stress formula, tau equals force over area. Now here we know the force, that one is the same, it did not change, 4.5 times 10 to the third newtons. Now the area, the area will be the highlighted area that they wanted us to find, which is going to be this uh, section from the edge all the way to the rod and to the other side and back. This little rectangle, this is what they want us to focus on. And of course this piece has two sides, top and bottom, so therefore we're going to have to calculate with uh, considering both of those. So I'm going to put a number 2 right here in front of our A. So we know that we need to consider both of those. So 2 times the area of our interest will be B. This side will be length of B times the thickness of the wood, which was given to us as 18 millimeters. So 18, 10 to the negative 3 meters. There you go. Now, we know tau, it's right here. All we have to do is uh, solve for B and we can get our value. There is solve for B, 4.5, 10 to the third newtons, divided by 2 times the area, 18, 10 to negative 3, and we have uh, tau over here, 620 times 10 to the third pascals calculator, we're going to find that it is 0 0.202, that's our meters. And we can go ahead and convert it back to millimeters, because that's how all the measurements on the wood are given. So that's going to give us 202 millimeters. And there's our value for part B. Okay, for part C, they want us to find the average bearing stress that we have in the wood. So for this one, here's uh, the formula. And let's keep in mind what area are we working with. The stress is formula is the same as before, force over area. But let's uh, take a look at which area we're going to work with. So... This is where our rod would go across the wood beam. So the area will be defined by the thickness of the wood times the diameter of the rod. The shaded area that you can see in this little sketch. So in our situation that would be the stress, the bearing stress would be equal to the force, the force is unchanged, it's the same as it was, 4.5 times 10 to the third newtons. Our thickness is given as 18 millimeters, so 18 times 10 to the negative 3 meters times the diameter of our steel rod is 12 millimeters, so 12 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. Now with a calculator we can go ahead and find our final value. And there is our final value 20,833,3 pascals. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, convert this into megapascals right away so we don't have to write so much and that's gonna be 20.8 megapascals.